Well, we have to start with congratulations, Michael. Dream start to the season. It's gone brilliantly. Yeah, it has. We're uh, very grateful for, firstly, the opportunity, but uh, in my mind, we really dreamt of, of starting well, and there was a few uh, sort of pre pre game nerves at the first meeting and the, the first run of Ray Bell didn't go too good but after that it, it went smoothly and it was good to get that treble last uh, last week at Maidan as well. Any particular highlights for you so far? Um, not really, I think the, the highlight has been just being welcomed by the team and um, being able to settle in with a, with a big bunch of, um, of staff which have just welcomed me so that's probably been, been, been the highlight and uh, I think the best is yet to come on the racetrack. And all through the season, you've been telling me that Sayuf is, is the one from the, the two-year-olds, and he proved that with a, a really nice win at Maidan. Yeah, he did. He was uh, he darted right out of the gates and had to settle back to, to second last, but it was was pretty dominant late. So to do that for a, for a young horse still learning his racing caper was was great. I think I think the mile's going to be really up his alley as well, and with more racing and more uh, more experience, he's just only going to going to continue to improve so excited to uh, see his next gallop and he'll uh, will look to more than likely set, go to the guineas trial or, or or head back to the guineas possibly a saudi trip and um, maybe a derby trail so you're really looking to target saudi if you can this, this season yeah they're the two horses which which stand out Saif and, and muhib to to go there um, be my first experience well it's my first experience with everything this season so I'm still learning but uh, I've got a good team around me to, to, to guide me and uh, I think they're the two perfect courses to it fits in well with their campaign for, for major targets for their their races on on the World Cup night and great that the management are supporting you with international runners yeah I'm so lucky it's uh, they're, they're great to um, we're great we, we meet up and I've got a good sounding board and as I said they, they guide me extremely well but um, they empower my decisions as well which is, is, is so important for, for running an operation like this. I'll talk a bit about your, your mare Carolina Reaper, it's quite unusual we haven't had too many come from her part of the world, how's she getting on? Yeah she's settling extremely well, we're now at the pointy stage of her preparation where we're going to start to release the handbrake so we'll head over Maidan and, and get, her on the, get her on the turf. Uh, there's, a, there's a nice little program for her, but we'll just um, we'll see how the, the next month unfolds. And I'm sure um, from what we've seen in the early stages, she'll um, she'll do a good job. And you sort of it was a bit of a gamble, you know, buying a mare, bringing her over. But so far, you're happy it's, it's paid off. Uh, yeah, well, the the proof will be in the in the winning post uh, at the end of the day. But um, I guess it depends on the, the nominations for those races and how it un, unfolds. But I think. Um, if, if those mares races are a little bit weaker based on her form um, and if she can bring that form and um, improve she should definitely um, be a good acquisition. And there's one that you're looking forward to for the carnival, a nice turf sprinter called Nahar who's a new one. Yeah he came from uh, William Haggis, he, he had a, just over a year off and William got him back to, to run and he ran second so he looks like a pretty pretty quality sprinter so he's just uh, arrived not too long ago. Uh, there's a nice race for him in sort of late January, mid-Feb to, uh, to kick him off, so we'll see how he goes. It's a bit tricky when you get horses from the UK, obviously they often come late because the trainers want to finish the season there and they take, they take their time to acclimatise, is, is that something you've found? Yeah, definitely, we've had a sort of a bunch of 18 come and there'll be a couple which will kick on, but there's, there's definitely a few there which will, will need a sort of a season to acclimatise and, and just settle in and, and get them to where we want them to want them to be. So it's just on a sort of a case by case basis. But um, now we're we're happy with a bunch of horses which, which have come, and the future definitely looks bright for next season with um, a couple of those UK imports. You've got a nice one coming from the states, Homebrew. Yeah, he arrives at the end of December, so uh, he's been in, in in quarantine, but still in work. He's been ultra impressive in a few listed races over there in the US. He's uh, yeah, we're excited to get him. We'll, ultimately need to see how, how he settles in and what sort of fitness level he's at before we kick off his first assignment but we trust that um, he's got the ability to, to give us a, a carnival show. And did you pick him out? How did that, the purchase come about? Yeah, the, the management was uh, team were, were forwarded, forwarded him from, a, from, from an agent and uh, definitely gave him the, the tick of approval. I'd, 
been watching a lot of the US races and he'd come up a few times. So it was a, it was a group decision to, to, to buy him and he's uh, still, a, still a relatively young horse so he should, um, should have a couple of seasons um, in him to, to fly the flag for the stable. And that'll give you a nice proper dirt horse to go along with with the new before. Yeah, exactly. So that'll give us around about half a dozen horses to, to, to go into the carnival. If something else pops up, that'll be great as well. But for a first season, uh, um, at least we've got a good starting point. And tell us about you, because you came over here with a, a good reputation. You've done obviously really well. And this was a pretty big decision because you were doing well at home. Yeah, it was. It definitely was an easy decision. And there was, there was equally as many trainers and and people back home that thought I was crazy, crazy for coming because of, um, you know, of how how well things were going going back home and what the future sort of um, how it would have unfolded. But you know, it's uh, once I came over here and I met the management and, and believed in in the management and and also uh, meeting His Highness, uh, I knew I had to had to make the call and I'm uh, I'm 100% glad that I did. No hedge and excited for what's going to happen in the seasons to come. We bought some extremely nice yearlings and uh, this year was all about just getting the greatest out of every horse that we've got and uh, very excited for the future plans of the stable.